Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So we're just going to finish up with the GUI stuff now. It's it's kind of, we've been doing it for a while now and, and we got almost everything ready. Uh, we, there's just a few things that I want to fix, uh, especially the setting state. There was this text part here, which we, I want to actually just take this text part and I want to put it in here uh, where, and just say text in it here. Uh, because if we put it in here, we can get access to this VM thing and I don't want to have to redefine that. So we'll just keep everything under init GUI. So if we go into our settings state dot H right here and we just remove Wait, what is this? Setting state dot h. We just remove the init text. No, keep the GUI. Init text right there. And we just keep the GUI. Boom, boom. We're good. And then we'll remove the init text from the constructor. And we should be good. Now we'll just change this because we want it to be kind of smaller than everything else. And there's one thing that I want to do. I want to go into my GUI.cpp. Okay, and I want to go to where we calculate the character size and I'm actually going to give it a constant here, const unsigned, all right, const unsigned, um, what, do we, what do we call it? We call it a modifier maybe, something like that, and we'll just divide, no, keep that, we'll just divide the whole thing with the modifier and we'll give it a default value of 60 okay so we don't have to kind of go back and and do anything with that so we'll just give it a default value of 60 and just control c the whole thing go to gui just put that there remove the default value because you don't want redefinitions of that and once that's done you don't have to change anything it will get a default value and everything else will be done with this but if we want smaller text we probably want to increase the size of this to get a smaller value out of this all right so one thing you're gonna to have to do is actually in the documentation thing here since we want to kind of make this a habit you want to say uh, unsigned all right and we just want to call it modifier uh, Use to modify the character size uh, in a more custom custom way. I guess uh, you can write whatever you want here. Anything that explains it. Basically, it's just a modifier for this division, so that we can kind of uh, get a smaller and smaller value the higher this is. Uh, but we'll just call it that. All good, all good. Doesn't really matter. Keep that, keep that. Now, once that's done, we can go back to our setting state and we can say GY cal character size. All right, but we'll give it VM and we'll give it a thing as well. So 30, right? It was, so maybe we'll want to divide this with 80 or something. So it's a little smaller, something like that. We can. You can make sure you can try try different things, maybe even 70, something like that. You can try different things, see what you get. Uh, we're gonna have to do the calculator thing, just for just final stuff here. Um, 100 divided by 1080. Obviously, it's wait no, 100 divided by what is that? That's width 1920. That's uh, are you serious? Five. 0.2 okay gy p2px 5.2 vm and then i'll just copy this remember 450 so we'll just copy this put it here remember to change this to y as well very important and then 450 450 divided by 1080 since we're doing the y that's 41.66 so 41.7 41.7. I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm guessing it'll be fine. Remember the F afterwards so you don't get any warnings. And now the text should be 
custom pretty much to how we like it. Uh, hopefully it will be all right. Let me see what's going on. 23 hours. Uh, no overloaded function button. Oh, okay. Wait, what? No, wait, that has a default value. Why are you complaining? Calculate character size. Let's see. Calculate character size. I did give it an, a, a, a default value, so it shouldn't really be a problem. I'm guessing it's because it, it, this will give me the redefinition error. Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, redefinition. Let's remove it from this CPP part then. Let's see. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so keep it in the H file. I don't know why. I think it has to do with how stuff is uh, stuff is set up. But there we go. If we decrease this back and we go into settings again, we'll see it's smaller. We decrease it even more. Uh, we go back, go back to settings. We'll see that it's smaller. So there you go. That's perfect. We go in a new game. Uh, everything else is fine. Everything else is working just fine. All right, there you go. Now, to set up so that we can, uh, let's see, let's see, init, where do we have init buttons? Okay, so init buttons, in main menu state, let's just go ahead and close everything, whoops, I don't know what I did, main menu state is what I want to open, okay? So init buttons is not good, we want init GUI in every state instead of init buttons okay because that just confuses me and everyone else if we have different names in different states let's just say gui everywhere and we'll just call in it gui here and we should be fine so no more init buttons or init text everything will be done in gui all right we already have a update gui function okay uh, one thing we might want is a reset GUI function and that's kind of a, a pain in the booty um, because we have to reinitialize stuff but it's going to be very important uh, so this reset GU, GUI and we're going to define that function right here. So it's going to be just a few more videos, I promise, uh, on this stuff. Just so we get it working and everything is kind of dynamic. And also we're going to have to be working on the player. If you remember the player GUI. So we're going to kind of work on that as well. Make sure that is uh, not dependent on the resolution in that way. So working with percentages again. Uh, so reset GUI. Here is a function. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, this is going to be weird, this init GUI, okay? Pretty much just going to do that. But before that, I'm going to have to clear the GUI. And if we say this buttons dot clear, okay, that should remove everything from the buttons because pretty much that is the issue here in this, in the main menu state. We are just, you know, um, resetting it and, and adding the buttons back again. So that's going to reset this. Now it's going to be tough because there is no real button to, to press here to reset the GUI. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some magic with this later. I'm going to think about it, but at least we have the function. Now we're just going to copy this whole thing into setting state. And this is where we're really going to try it out. Uh, we're just going to go void reset GUI all right very good very good like this we're just gonna define this and I'm gonna say that I want to go here okay let's see what we're doing so we have a drop down list that's a map perfect no problems modes is fine uh, we'll clear mode buttons modes and drop down list and also the option text is fine it's not new or anything so this init GUI, no problems. And then we're just going to clear the GUI. All right. So to clear it, we're going to say this buttons.clear, this uh, modes.clear, 
And pretty much that's it. And then this drop down list. Drop down list dot clear. Okay. So there you go. This drop down list clear modes, buttons. And then we initialize the GUI as well. Now to comment this whole thing. Remember our beautiful commenting lines and stuff. Um, please. There we go. No. Why are you doing this? Why have you done this to me? Please. There you go. Okay. Uh, clears the GUI elements. And it reinitializes the uh, GUI. Okay. And it has a... God damn it. It has a void at all right so i was pretty much right here uh, when it messed up kind of i did that thing uh, switching scenes again and it kind of messed everything up but hey it did crash anyway and i had to uh, i had to reset some stuff but basically what i did was this is what i wrote as the comment okay nothing special just reset resets everything and reinitializes stuff so and i also changed it because it was crashing because uh, we were clearing the modes you don't want to clear the modes at all. You just want to leave them be because we don't initialize them in here. We just initialize the mode strings. Okay. So basically that's all we do. Now you want to delete everything as well. Otherwise you're going to get memory leaks. So delete all of these drop down lists and clear the, the map. Also the same thing for buttons. Okay. Once you do that, you're good to go. Um, we're also going to have to pretty much do one more thing we have a background that kind of messes up with us so i'm going to copy all of this okay and we're going to remove in it background we're going to put that into gui as well because we don't want to separate too many things here so in it gui is great we're going to just keep that there it'll be easier to reset stuff as well so uh, let's just go ahead in here in in it gui before we init everything Let's just initialize the background right here. All right. Now we can use vm dot width. Vm dot width here instead. All right. Remove that x. Same thing for this, but vm dot height. Okay. Height. Cool. And then we'll load the texture, and then we'll set the texture. Perfect. And this is something we need to do uh, each time we uh, let's see background texture load from file that's cool that's cool we'll reload the texture doesn't really matter and then set the texture doesn't really matter it's cool all right uh, let's just comment that in here uh, back ground stuff and then here we'll have buttons and then modes and also drop down lists okay cool with some stuff done here i just want to show you what i did as well just make sure you have it exactly like this also i copied this reset gui uh, comment in here into main menu state but i didn't do anything else in here uh, we will be calling uh, this reset gui right here wherever we have this apply button let's see where's the apply button right here okay so uh pretty much we can remove this i was just trying some stuff out it bugged out uh, i don't have to care about that let's just reset it right in here whenever we click reset g or apply we'll reset the gui as well all right now everything should be reset shouldn't really crash on me hopefully we'll be fine and hopefully I'm in the correct, yeah, we're good. All right, so settings, apply, apply, apply. Doesn't crash. Let's choose something smaller. Apply, didn't crash. Apply, didn't crash. Even smaller, didn't crash. So we're pretty good to go. We just need to switch this thing up. If we go back, new game, uh, we'll see that the, the window is still smaller, right? So that's good. And the pause menu works just fine, both in the editor and everything. So it, our settings apply and resetting the setting state is working. We can just reset this and everything is being set to correct size. Now, our main menu state 
needs to kind of kind of be reset and I'm gonna have to think about that like I said so I'm gonna think about it a little bit and probably in the coming videos we'll fix that uh, but I think before that we'll work on the player GUI just making sure that is fixed with all the percentages and stuff um, so there you go hopefully you don't get any errors if you do check out github always check out github first if you can since I, I really want to help you guys but I can't always uh, answer your questions since there's so many of you, but I do try, all right? But if, if you check out GitHub, you can see the code exactly and try to debug it through looking at the code, reference code. Hopefully you'll find the, the issue. But I do support, or I do try to help you guys. And I appreciate all your support, all the kind words and, and all the nice things you say to me. So really, really appreciate that. And I really hope you don't run into errors. Uh, but there you go. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.